Hey, lovely people, Coupon and Crystal here with the insert preview for this coming Sunday, September the 9th, okay? I'm going to go ahead and start because I got some things that I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start the preview and you guys can catch it in the playback, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm in my craft room so y'all see junk is everywhere. Okay, this is going to be the Retail Me Not and it starts out with a Family Dollar Flyer. So there you can see they've got some Charmin. And this is actually on sale at Food Lion. The Charmin Essentials is in the five by five, save five. We've got some Viva and Scott and Hefty trash bags, Quilted Northern Scott, Tide, and that's going to be 95 cent after the Smart Coupon. Glade renews it. Hey, lovely people, how are y'all doing? I see somebody done clicked on. Okay, these prices are going to start on Sunday. So even if you don't have the coupon, even though in this insert, I think there is a coupon for this, the Tide Simply, but this is a digital coupon or smart coupon through Family Dollar, okay? So let's go ahead. All right, so we got some more stuff. Hey, Cassie. We've got some Pepsi, DiGiorno, Coca-Cola, and there is some Pure Life water. And now, let's get with the coupons. 50 cent on any one Quilted Northern bath tissue, six double roll or larger. And then we've got a advertisement and then we've got a coupon Quaker ready to eat cereals a dollar on two and 75 cent on two of the Quaker chewy granola bars or bites then we've got the pure silk shave cream and the pure silk or Barbasol blade razors 50 cent on two Barbasol And I don't know if the Suave Body Wash Coupe, uh, Rebate is still in Ibotta, but that would be good if it is. And we've got some vitamins. What is that? Muscle or joint pain. Okay, all right. Next. And you know what? I never posted that Ibotta re the Ibotta haul that I did, but I did do some Centrum Vitamins, but this is actually a better deal because I think the coupon that I used was $2. Now, this is $4 on the multiple multi-gummies, Centrum multi-gummies. So, this is actually a better deal. So, if I still have that Ibotta rebate, I'm definitely going to do that because they were priced at like $6 and something at Walmart. So that would actually be a good deal. It ended up, it probably would be 60 some cent because the rebate that I had was for $2 and then you got that $4 coupon. So that would be a really a much better deal. I think I ended up paying like $2. Okay, so Olay Eye Products, $2. And then we've got some Two Herbal Essence Bio Renew Shampoo. Two Herbal Essence Shampoo Conditioner, Aussie Shampoo. Okay, this is what I was talking about. We're about to get to it. $4 on the two Pantene products. And we've got $2 on one Gain Powder, Gain Liquid Detergent or Gain Flings. $2 on one Gain Liquid Fabric Enhancer, Gain Dryer Sheets. Okay, we're going to go over to this. This is what I was talking about. So if you don't have the paper coupon for that family dollar, you could just use that digital. The one they have a $2 one in digital, there'll only be 95 cent. But here are some paper ones. So hopefully you get these in your area. There's another one for a dollar off of one tide simply detergent, 37 ounce high or higher or the downy fabric enhancer. And then this is the tide rescue 
haven't, I don't think I've seen that product. I don't think I've seen that product. I haven't really looked for it either. Advertisement. All right, so let's move on to the $1.25 on any one package of Sparkle paper towels. That's pretty good. I need to look, check, flip, and see if Sparkle is on sale somewhere. <laughs> okay, we got the Angel Soft. This is 50 cent on Angel Soft bath tissue for double roll or larger. And then the larger quantity, giving you a dollar off. I think we still have coupons for this, don't we? Because I did, I, re, I bought a rebate on this and it's still sitting here on my desk. That's terrible. Off anyone's stain master carpet, it's terrible, but that's terrible. There's another one. It's right here. I haven't put it up yet, lovely people. <laughs> that's that's how you know you coupon too much when you just got stuff sitting in rooms that ain't supposed to be sitting in. Advertisement. Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay. Next. Zyrtec. Okay. Zyrtec. 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 Now, hmm, that's interesting. A dollar fifty on any one Visine product. Now, if the Visine is still in our bottle, I don't know, but check coupon time if it is. That is an excellent, excellent coupon, lovely people. Cause remember the the trial size was working, and that one don't say nothing about trial size, does it? Oh yeah, it does. It says it excludes trial and travel, but still, it's a dollar and fifty cent. Dollar and fifty cents, pretty good. Okay, moving on. Eglin's Best. We got some Eglin's Best coupons. Good morning, Savvy. How you doing? How are you doing, ma'am? I hope you're doing well. And advertisement. All this good coupon space just wasted with all this advertisement. Okay. We're going to look at the missing person. So sad. This gentleman, he is missing from California. I'm good, Savvy. How are you doing? Let's say a prayer for him and his family. So tired of ordering. Oh. So here's some hearty coupons and that's it. So let me turn my camera around, okay? Lovely people. I'm going to sit it right there. I'm about to go couponing because <laughs> I'm on vacation. <sighs> Lord Jesus, thank you, Jesus. I felt like I freed slave. And I worked over yesterday trying to just get my office clear of some stuff. I said, let me just go on this day over and get some stuff caught up or whatever or moved off my desk. So I won't have to look at it when I come back. So I'm going to enjoy these Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I go back Tuesday. I'm going to enjoy these five days. And you see how fast my morning done flew by. I feel like I'm at work. It's about during lunchtime. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I had one update. Y'all remember that I had the, um, I found the uh, Coach Willis pocketbook. Get your coupons on. We'll be, <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all what. The first place I'm going to probably go is going to be Food Lion. Because Food Lion has the buy five, save five. Has anybody seen the Food Lion flyer? Okay, the Food Line Flyer has the buy five, save five. They got Dawn uh, dishwashing liquid. They got, I want to say those Tide Simply. I think they got the Tide Simply. They got Cascade. They got um, the Charmin Essentials toilet tissue and the Charmin Essentials paper towels. Now, I know we have small value coupons, but I need to check Ibotta because if we can combine an Ibotta rebate with that buy five, save five, meaning you buy five products, they take $5 off and then you can still use coupons. It can be actually a really, really good daggum deal. So anyway, let me tell y'all about my pocketbook because y'all remember I did the uh, yard sale video, thrifting slash yard sale video, where my daughter, Amity, and I went yard selling and thrifting, and Charity went too. <laughs> Charity went too. And I found this pocketbook, and, but the clasp was broken, okay? So it was just, I was just like, I'm going to still get the pocketbook, because this pocketbook is, I think it's called a Coach Willis, and I think this pocketbook came out in, or purse, 
handbag came out in, I think they started, Coach started making it in 1998, I think. So I really liked this purse when it came out, but it was like 200 and some dollars when it came out. I think 226, something like that. When it came out in 1998, okay? I wasn't, <laughs> I liked him from afar, okay? Matter of fact, I think I got a bootleg one. I think I bought a bootleg one. <laughs> I was even frugal with then, y'all. <laughs> that I did not want to pay the 220 some dollar price, okay? So anyway, went to the yard sale, found her this vintage lovely Pocky book. I love her. I found her, but she was broken. She had been abused. <laughs> It was an older lady that had the purse and she said, I put too much stuff in it. And you could tell you can't really fit much in it. I don't have nothing in it but a lipstick, a hand sanitizer, and my coach wallet. That's all that's in this in this thing. Because that's all that's gonna fit. Long story short, went to the coach store, my husband and I did, um, um over the weekend, and I had called before I got there to see if they do repairs or can ship off, and they said yes. So I brought the purse in, and um, I asked him. I said, well, he said, I can fix it here. I said, oh, okay. I said, well, how much would it be? He said, free. I was like, oh, you ain't saying nothing about a word. Here you go. <laughs> oh, they was like, ooh, that's a classic deal. I was like, I know, right? So they fixed my purse for me. I am so super excited. I'm going to carry her today. I was just so thrilled that I got her fixed for free. For free. Y'all know I like everything savvy for the low, low price of darn near free. And in this time, it wasn't near. It was absolutely free. So me spending $5 for this pocketbook that's in excellent, excellent condition. Even the brass is not even really dirty. I'm going to probably take some barkeeper's friend and with a Q-tip and kind of do it. But y'all can see this purse is not hurt. Okay. She took good care of her. Probably because she messed her up and then she didn't get to carry her. But the bonus for the day was, is that my love bug, my Richard, he bought me a pocket book. <laughs> so he bought me a, another one while I was there and I was super excited about that. And y'all can tell that I'm not really a pocket book, uh, expensive pocket book connoisseur or a person that's gonna pay a bunch for a pocket book. I'm just not gonna do it. I let my husband do it, but I'm, I don't really wanna do it. <laughs> So I was asking the gentleman, so the gentleman that had fixed my purse, the other one, he was saying, well, just get this one because it's, 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 it's all leather. And I'm looking at that thing like, I told my husband, I said, that don't look like no leather. That look like some man-made material. That don't look like leather. <laughs> but he said what it is, they take the leather and they compress it between these plates to make this type of finish on it to make it be scratch resistant. So... With that being the case, I felt a lot better with getting it. I wanted to tote. Thank you, Savvy. I wanted to tote. I thought my husband was so sweet for doing it. He's always doing sweet, nice things for me. And I appreciate him so very much. So that's my love bug. He did bought that for his wife. And I was really pleased with it. So what I'm going to do, I told him, I said, I'm not going to throw her in the buggy. This is what I do when I coupon, y'all. I put my pocket book in the buggy, and then I take my binder, and I sit it on top of the, the pocket book, and that's how I coupon, and it keeps my book from falling into the seat of the buggy. I can't be doing that with her, because I don't want to mess her up. <laughs> so I said, I would not be doing that. <laughs> But one thing I am going to do, and I'm probably going to do it this week since I'm going to be off for the rest of the week, I'm going to do my little uh, harness that I wanted to show you guys for actually holding the coupon book because I had came up with the idea and I just hadn't done it, just haven't taken the time to do it. So I think this is a great opportunity to do it because I want to be able to have something that will actually hold my book stationary so it doesn't slide because my book can be kind of top heavy i have a lot of stuff in my book so it can be a lot of top, you know kind of top heavy or, you, or any of you guys on here binder coupon users do you all keep your coupons in a binder or are you a 
a file folder or are you an accordion person? No disrespect to any of you, but I can't do the accordion. It's too much flipping. It's just too much for me. I can't, I can't do that. I can't do the file system because I like to be able to see my stuff. I'm a visual person. I like to be able to flip, flip, flip through my coupons or just, you know, go down the aisle. You have a very large binder. I do. I have a very large binder. And y'all know I um, did a video some time ago where I did a video showing you all my binder and showing you the cover that I made for it. And it has a shoulder strap. And I love that about my binder. But as I use it more, I think I'm going to have to tweak my cover and do some things to it because I need it to be completely encased around the edges. So I'm going to have to do a little tweak into that. But it would be really good if I could come up with some type of harness that would hook to the actual cover to where I can actually Velcro it to the buggy. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> So coming soon, <laughs> got to do that because I like to be hands-free when I'm couponing. I really would like something to hold my phone because I use my phone as my calculator and I'm going through Ibotta and I'm on Coupon Tom. So, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So I try to be hands-free, but I don't want my phone falling. I'm conscious when I'm couponing up my phone, sliding off my binder, falling on the floor, even though I got that life-proof case on it. I don't care. I done dropped my phone. Lord Jesus, I've dropped an iPhone twice, y'all. I done done it twice. This is the third one. So I did it one time. It fell out of my pocketbook going into church looking for the keys in my husband's car trying to get in and the keys slid up under the seat in the BMW. So I just was like so outdone. My purse slid out my pocketbook and I had to go in the service after dropping my pocketbook, dropping my phone on the concrete. Okay. Phone destroyed. So beside myself. The second time I dropped it at work at my desk. How crazy is that? The thing slides off, hits the floor, splat and breaks. And I had a lifetime glass screen protector which is some bull crap. What I should have did, I should have sent it in so they could replace it because they supposed to replace it for free. But in actuality, once it hit that concrete, it broke the screen saver and it broke the screen of the doggone phone. <laughs> can't, I can't do it this one. Now this one right here, I've dropped this phone more than one time. And let me tell you, this sucker can take a licking and keeps right on ticking because it's been dropped and the screensaver hasn't broken and the case hasn't broken simply because of the way the case is made. It's clear, but it has a little ridge. So the phone itself, the screen protector is not hitting the actual, it's not touching when it hits. So I think that's what it is. So I'm loving this particular case, but I'm still, I'm careful about it. I'm rambling. I gotta go coupon. <laughs> Remember, clip to save. You will be amazed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Also, keep in mind that sometimes coupons are regional. So if you don't get these coupons in your area, that could be the case. But for me, these come in my yard free. They throw them in our yard and it's called a paper. It's called the clipper. I usually get one insert and the insert for the prior week and then the food lion flyer. So that's how I knew about the food line sales. So I'm going to probably use some of these coupons. I want to come on here and show you guys what was in the insert or what's expected to be in the insert so you guys will kind of know. Okay, I'm going to get off of here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and you'll probably see me pop up again because I'm going to show y'all what I found. Bye-bye. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs>